before we begin, please remember to subscribe for our Facebook page so you can get more of these posts. Today we're going to solve the example NAP1 test published on the CARO website for year five. So let's begin. Question one. Emily had these crayons. She gave half of them away. How many crayons did Emily keep? We're counting the total number of crayons and dividing them in half. Mona is selling chocolates as a fundraiser for her athletics club. Each chocolate sold raises $2.50 for the club. She sells 40 chocolates. How much money does she raise? Here, we'll calculate on the right-hand side by multiplying 250 times 40. It is advisable to multiply by 10 first, so 25, and then multiply by four, which makes $100. The answer is 100. Question five, Hudson sees four caterpillars at the park. Order them from the shortest to the longest. So this is a visual solution by ordering them in ascending length. Match each net with the object it makes. Look at the two-dimensional shapes on the left and consider which is the matching two-dimensional shape at the top. We'll look at the first net consisting of four triangles. If we fold the triangles on the side up, we would be forming a triangular pyramid. So the respective three-dimensional shape would be that one. The next uh, net on the left is the one of a triangular prism. So we'll select that. And the last one is the pyramid. Match each shape the correct number of vertices. We're counting the vertices. A triangle has three of them. A pentagon has five. And therefore, that's a quadrilateral with four vertices. Question number eight. Place a number in the box to make the number sentence true. So this is completing a simple equation. On the left-hand side, two and eight makes 10. On the right-hand side, three and something must make the same number, 10. Therefore, that would be seven. What is the largest number that can be made using two of the cards shown below? Place the two cards in the boxes to make the number. So the largest number, have to begin with the largest number that we've got on the card, seven. And then the next one would be five. We have no requirement for being either odd or even, therefore we don't have that restriction. How long is the toy car on the picture? Here we have to use an online ruler. So this is a skill that the kids might need to master. Align the zero with the start of the car and then take a reading at the end, that is six centimeters. We'll select six and we'll continue. We have to hide that ruler by pressing back on the icon at the top. Question 11. Emily bakes 12 cakes. Her family eats three of them. She takes the rest of the cupcakes to school to give to her friends. Complete the number sentence. The starting number of cupcakes is 12, and then we'll subtract three out of them, making nine. And we'll continue. Last question 12. A tangram is a puzzle made from cutting a large square into seven pieces. Choose the piece that is the square that is a square in the tangram below. This is a simple selection of the square shape. And that's the end of the test. Thanks for watching, and I'm looking forward to seeing you again in the next video. Bye. Our NAPON preparation test at the beginning on 21st of January, so make sure to secure your spot. I'll see you soon.